Peace be upon you and your families. So I was asked to do a short, a short piece on uh, what the upcoming retreat is. Um, I'm not sure if it's to try and sway your mind to come along. You probably best avoid the spiritual path if you haven't discovered it yet. But if you are, uh, something beats inside your heart, it's looking for some kind of end to the egoic self, then you maybe you'll be interested. It's important not to be deceived by when people ask you to go on a spiritual retreat like this. Because the spiritual path, I think just we could say is maybe broken into four categories. The work that we do here. One is your day to day life. In which you work. Well, maybe you're on the door. But you're doing some you're living your life with others. And how you interact with others and what you value in that. That's it. Like that's the all the work we're doing on ourselves is for this. Really. The second is the study, the examination, the looking at books from enlightened beings and discussing them, analyzing them and getting teachings to understand how we can do the first thing. The third aspect is meditations, sadhanas, techniques, methods to strengthen the understanding that we got in study so we can put it into practice in our everyday life. The fourth aspect is coming together as a community to celebrate. So the first three aspects are generally where the hard work is. And the fourth aspect is the result of the hard work. So we're not so much coming then to analyze, discuss, doubt, question, probe, check it out. We're not, it's not our necessarily our day to day uh, broth, our day-to-day -day food, our day-to-day -day shower of practice that we do every day to get to go deeper into ourselves. It's the effect when we're just laughing, joyful, singing, creating, playing, coming together. Practitioners who are working on themselves coming together to celebrate their journey on the path. And in that, if you come along for the first time, you should know that that's the space you're coming into. And I think a lot of people want to think that that's what the spiritual path is, feeling high. We say that's the result of the work we've done. But It's a great time to come along for the first time to feel the love and work of a community who've been working on themselves and to feel that effect and to get a sense of refuge. 
It's only, especially in these times of screens, you know, that we feel the presence of people who work on the path, the ambience of a spiritual community. That's what resonates. That's what means something. That's what we're yearning for. So when we meet in this gathering, the, um, the theme is love and beauty on the Sufi path of meditation. So we'll have, um, you'll have singing, uh, dancing, creativity, poetry, uh, sharing, meet, meeting like-minded souls on the path, and meditations, and it's a weekend to celebrate ourselves and the work we've been doing. So forgive me if that's too long, but it's a very important thing to understand the context of what we're going to when we go to a weekend retreat like this for the first time. It's to give you a taste of the effects. And if that, if you enjoy that, then we go into the work that makes that happen. And then you can be, in, if you wish, then you can get into the study, the practices, and how to integrate that into your daily life. And so if you want a spiritual holiday, this is what this is. No, I mean, it's all interconnected, but just to make sure that you understand clearly the context. And you, anyone that wants to celebrate with us, they're welcome to join in the uh, beautiful way of the Sufi. Thank you very much for listening. And please forgive me for rambling too much. May, um, may you feel blessings in your life. And may you and your family be harmonious. And may there be peace in your hearts. Thank you.